Hey there boys and girls, my name is Kyle, better known on the YouTubes as Blinkraft, and today we're going to be creating a sky map in Unity using Photoshop and Pano2 VR. Now if you don't have Pano2 VR and you're not comfortable torrenting it off some website, then there's going to be a different tutorial, it's going to be a link on the screen right now that you can click to go over to it, and I'm going to show you a different way to do this without that software. So I suggest you click on it now if you don't have Pano2 VR. If you do, that's great, we're going to keep moving on. And the numbers for this is going to be 8192, so that's 8192 by 4096, that's 4096. Once you have that, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. If you don't have these rulers right here to drag down these lines, you can hit Control R. I'm going to split it in half, it should snap. I'm going to create two new layers. Take the background layer, if it's locked like mine is, double click it, click OK, and then you can just delete it. I'm going to name this Ground and Sky. Once we have this, we can actually go through and create our sky map. I'm just going to jump cut. All right, once you have your sky map ready to go, we can just go ahead and file and save as. And I'm going to save this to my desktop, and I'm going to call it Cloudy Day. We're just going to save it out as a standard Photoshop file. Now, yours doesn't have to look like mine. I went a little bit more cartoony, a little bit more stylistic. But if you don't want to do it like this, you can, of course, always just create actual clouds. You could use the filter to render out noise clouds and try to make something out of there, or you could just Google pictures of clouds and try to, try to crop them out and try to mix it all together. A fun little fact, if you want to create a layer and you want to have the object on that layer move across the screen but loop onto the other side so you can make it seamless, with that layer selected, you can go to Filter, Other, and Offset, and then as you can see, as you adjust your offset, it'll loop it back around. So that's how you can get clouds to go off one side and come back on the other so it's nice and seamless. And now we're gonna switch over to Pano2 VR. In here we wanna click Select Input. We're gonna open up our Photoshop document. The input type is gonna be Cylinder and we're gonna click OK. Now that it's imported, we wanna switch this from Flash to Transformation. Click Add. For the type, we wanna switch it over to Cube Faces. The image size, we want 2048. For the face names, we want to switch this to front, bottom. That just changes how the, each file will be named. This makes it a little bit more easier when we're bringing it into Unity. The format's going to be a PNG. In the output file, I'm going to switch this over to my desktop, and I'm going to get rid of the out part. So it's just underscore. And then it's going to add in all the names for everything, such as the front and the bottom, the left and the right. Then you can click OK. Click OK. It's going to tell you you're going to need to save first. So I'm just going to save this to my desktop. Also call it Cloudy Day. And now it'll map out everything. Now, as you can see, doing the cylinder technique, it does a pretty good job. However, it does leave some holes in the top and the bottom. So to fix that, we're going to grab them, bring them into Photoshop, and just drop them into new files. To do this real quick, I'm just going to hit B for the brush, hold Alt to get the color picker, select it, and then hold Alt and Backspace to color everything in. I'm doing that because this is just a solid image, so it's okay if I color everything. Control S to save that back out. This one's a little bit different because we have some clouds right here. So I'm going to begin selected for my brush tool. I'm going to hold Alt, click the color, W for the magic wand tool. If you don't have it, it might be set to a quick select tool. I like the magic wand tool, so I prefer to have that set. Click inside the circle to select it. Alt backspace again to color it in. Control D to deselect and Control S to save out. Now that we have everything ready to go, we can drop into our Unity project. So I'm going to open up the folder, go into my assets folder, and then just drag and drop everything in. I find it's a little bit faster just to drag assets into the actual folder than it is to go into Unity and try to import each asset individually. Once you click back on Unity, it's going to take a second. It's going to have to create all the metadata for all your new photos. You can switch back to Unity. We're going to select everything. Go to the inspector if it's not already there. For wrap mode, we want to switch it to clamp. If it's not on clamp, sometimes you get these little white edges. And they look pretty crappy, so make sure it's on clamp. Click apply. Once it's done editing everything, we're going to go to create. We want a new material. I'm going to call this skybox. We're going to switch the shader from standard to skybox and six-sided. And now I'm going to go through and select all of these. Now when going through and doing this, it's important to remember that in Unity, the left and the right are actually flip-flopped. So for left, we want to pick the right one, and for the right one, we want to pick the left one. Up, of course, is going to be top, and down is, of course, going to be bottom. Once you have that selected, we need to actually switch our skybox. To do this, you go to the Lighting tab. If you don't have this, you can go to Window and click on Lighting to open it up. I like to keep mine locked in right here so I can always change it. I'm going to drag my skybox into the skybox section, and there we go. We have our nice, wonderful little skybox. Looks great, and it was really easy to make. If you have any tutorial suggestions or any questions, you can ask down in the comment section below, and I'll try to get back to you. As always, my name is Kyle. You just learned something cool today, and I'll see you next time.